Hello, my name is Emilia from Emil Letters and welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. Um, today I'm going to make uh, another flip book and I'm going to try something I I thought about today. I haven't um, tried it before and actually I haven't seen it anywhere. Uh, in my head it looks kind of simple but like as always, um, it's never that e it's never that easy when you start to making it. So I'm going to explain you a little bit what I'm about to do, and then I'm going to speed up the process, and I'm going to show you the results when it's ready. And um, I'm really into these summer themed letters at as it's <laughs> summer time and I want to do summer themed letters as much as I can and uh, with summer theme I mean like flamingos, uh, fruits and um, florals uh, really bright colors because I really like to work with bright colors uh, it's really nice weather outside it's about 19, 20 Decrease and no clouds on the sky, which is really nice. And probably some of you might think that why are you crafting inside when it's so nice weather outside? But yeah, I'm going to uh, create some plans for the night. I'm not going to just spend this day with crafting inside, but as as I work quite a lot uh, during the week. And my days are pretty um, like hectic and intensive and really physical. I like to just uh, concentrate with crafting whenever I can. And <laughs> in the week, I just I don't have the energy. And right now, also my fingers hurt kind of not that much anymore. But like this area uh, has been hurting so much, uh, especially after night. It's really uh, hard to get my my fingers to the fist like this hand goes really well but this it's it have been a little bit of challenge and I was worried if I can graph that all today like uh, write a letter or anything but I have been trying to working on it and trying to put something cold on it and something if it's uh, if there is something like inflammation, I just really hope it will get better till Monday. But yeah, let's start with it. I, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to show you a little bit what I'm going to do, and let's see if it works out. So um. I'm going to pick up two different, um, well, let me think, two different pages, or I can use only one, two if I want, um, hard decisions, but I'm thinking of Selecting maybe this one and this one because these have kind of similar colors. So I'm taking this one and this one here. A little bit problems with my tripod, but yeah, I hope you can see properly. Uh, when this cutting bike is over, you will see better. But yeah, I'm just. Uh, of course, 
uh, yeah, I don't have to start with that. I start with cutting this one paper at uh, six inches, like half of the 12 by 12 paper. And I can use this part with this, but I want to do with this different paper. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. I'm going to do some score lines. Uh, every every six inches. Yeah. just making sure that the scores are okay. And of course you can see now that the flaps doesn't let your bread go in that well. So what we're going to do is to cut just a little bit out of the edges, like this much. I don't know if this uh, it's about one quarter. Now you can see that there is a little bit gap in the uh, middle. Um, yeah, uh, the basement or template is ready now, and luckily it turned out really well. And this is just what I meant. And of course, when I said I haven't seen anything like this before, uh, I didn't mean like this is so unique and so special that I haven't seen this before. Of course, I have seen those with <clears throat> uh, this kind of flip books that have made with washi, washi tapes or with multiple these, um, like what I did here in the middle, this uh, little piece that has acetate tape in it, uh, but I haven't seen anything like like this large, that is one, like almost one piece. So <laughs> this is my flipbook 
and yeah now I'm going to start to decorate it so I guess this was sort of like a um, tutorial for you guys if you want to create sometimes something else and um, just want to try on something different um, uh, you can use these as as um, like how do I say it like your pages you can do different kind of uh, pockets and decorations over here and you can also like if you want you can place them uh, flip them like this and uh, glue them edges here and use this as a pocket but I'm going to do it with like this and yeah now I'm going to speed up the process again and I'll see you in the end and I will show you the, the results with some close pictures. <laughs> so uh, grab your coffee or your tea mug and just have fun. You can craft along or you can just watch and relax. Uh, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to comment down below and like this video if you like this. <laughs> so I'll see you in the end.
Yeah, it turned out pretty cute, I think, and I used many different collections which I used to do, and I think it's it look it kind of looks a little bit like um, I don't know confusion and uh, like it doesn't make sense or something. But I try to think that crafting is <laughs> my hobby. I do letters and flip books by pen pals or swaps. I like to like just use my creative mind and I don't want to stick to just one collection or two and or one branch. I I really like to try new things and mix and match things. So there's the the cover and I really like the shaker. I know I have been making them a lot lately but I just cannot get over them. I, I, I love shakers so much and I think shaker in the cover it, it just <laughs> it just really nice and yeah uh, I'm going to cover cover this uh, side here. Um, obviously most of you cannot understand Finnish but some of you are Finnish as well and this is just really personal uh, this is like the list of things that I have thankful for why is my lamp shaking? what? they are really personal so I rather not to show them for you and on the other side there is this just simply decoration Lately I've been really into to do this, um, to rip some papers and like use it on the edges or, or uh, above and below the page. And I thought this trim was really nice here. Here I have this, watch me. Drop the camera a little bit down. So here is this like God-centered uh, page. Uh, this Benpal is a Finnish Benpal who is also Christian. So that's why I do this. These decorations, if my Benpal is not Christian, I wouldn't do also gospel related because I don't want to um, like you know force anyone to think uh, what I think <laughs> so anyway there are a bunch of goodies for her from different collections and I just noticed the other day actually when I was making the flip book for Alva that some of these um, ephemera some of them have some phrases on the background. I didn't know that. 
hopefully Alva don't mind. <laughs> and yeah, because if you group them down, obviously you won't see them. And there will <laughs> will be the letter when I have written it. Yeah, is this a uh, sweet uh, volume volume uh, paper bag? Um, which I decorated uh, also with some die cuts and stickers and I put some uh, different colored doilies background and I don't want to take these stickers uh, there are mostly stickers here I don't want to take them all out because I just cut them here nicely and I, I'm afraid I made I might um, ruin something but uh, yeah, basically this is actually Maggie Holmes, this uh, like mini notepad, something like that. There are different kind of stickers, not mostly. And over here there is um, my mail tag for her. I tried to make it look like a ice cream sh shop or <laughs> how do you say it? I don't know. Like I made these mini ice creams. I wrote the mail tag questions in them. Just really simple. I think it's really nice. And that's the whole flip book. Uh, I'm still going to write the letter, of course. And I'm going to do the envelope decoration on other video. But yeah, I hope you guys like this video. I'm most of all, I really hope you got something inspiration out of it. Uh, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Have a great time. Bye!